obviously not everybody I'm sure in America is polite and friendly, but everyone that we came across was. Um, they wanted to help, if, you know, find ways if we needed to know where to go, etc. Um, everyone just seemed polite and friendly. Yeah, exactly. Everyone. You know what, my friends? You know what? Clap, clap for America. Oh man, this makes me so happy, my friends. You guys have no idea that not that I'm surprised, but make, still makes me happy. I'm so proud of uh, of America. Of America is a bit relative. I'm so proud of Americans. You know what I mean? Because uh, you guys are such welcome people. Today I'll be reacting to five things we learned about Americans in America, my friends. I'm super excited for this one. But uh, before I go into that, uh, let me ask you for one thing: if you can leave a like. Uh, Thank you so much. It's the best way to show support. Uh, now, if you can subscribe, well, in that case, uh, forget about it. Uh, you make my day. Have that in consideration. Uh, link for the original video in my description. By the way, show all the love to the Bizzles. They are a tremendous channel. That said, well. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is five things we learned about Americans in America. Yeah, okay. this is continuing with our Brits in America, mm -hmm. kind of basically our experience. So, a lot, a lot so my friends, am I the only one that, they, that they've been enjoying their videos so much in America? I guess no, because you guys probably also watch me to, to, to reacting to them. But they had such a great time. America is such an amazing country to, you know, to, for people like us, you guys are so welcome. It's kind of it's kind of crazy. I love it. These are going to be stereotypes, which either were proved wrong or proved right. Okay. Yep. Kind of things where you have a bit of an idea on something, and then it, we were there for two weeks. You get a good idea when you're there. Yes, yes. Some things that we obviously we were told that maybe we necessarily didn't experience. Like yeah, what? Exactly. Like oh, we were told and <laughs> we expected it, but it was actually more. Like you don't realise it when you're there. Yeah, that. actually about the Americans. I'll start it off with number one, which is hey. knowledgeable. Which knowledgeable. sounds quite bad <laughs> when you just put it as knowledgeable. Wait, the Americans are more knowledgeable than uh, they expected? Okay, this, this is interesting. Not that I think you guys are not knowledgeable, but uh, I wonder why. But I suppose there is, uh, when, when I say that, I'm referring mainly to travel and like Europe. Okay. Because yeah. there's this kind of stereotype, at least we've seen in videos, yeah. where Americans don't know much about Europe because they only travel mm. within the states or 50%, only 50% have passports. Let me say one thing. This stereotype tends to appear quite a lot in, uh, in a bunch of videos, of course. But, uh, and maybe it could be true. But hear me out, because I have an explanation for this. Let's say this is true, that you guys have no idea where is uh, Portugal. That, that, actually, that, that would be very sad. To, to be honest with you, at this point, uh, if you love me, you should take a look at Portugal in the map. But let's say that happens. Trust me, if you ask a lot of Europeans, where is uh, uh, Idaho, Massachusetts, crazy names, by the way, they have no idea. Mo uh, of course, you will find someone that knows, but most of them will look at the map and go, oh my God, I have no idea. Of course, they, they know how to point America in the map. I mean, America is this big. It, no, it, it, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's bigger than, than Europe. But um, you guys get my point, right? I, I think this is something that uh, people don't understand sometimes is uh, a lot of Europeans also have no idea about America. They know America is the name but the real America, they know New York and California. That's it. And maybe Texas. Everyone we pretty much spoke to knew where the Channel Islands were, knew about Jersey. Yeah, they at least um, obviously knew where England was. And if they didn't know where Jersey was, they were interested to know yeah. if that made sense. Like, mm. it wasn't like, oh, yeah. It wasn't this stereotype but, of, oh, just America, which we, mm. we expected, but there wasn't. Like, we expected it not to be like that. And it just really yeah. burned it. And we had that in New York actually as well when we went because remember we were in, we we're having the tour of the state building. Yeah. And they were like, oh, Jersey cows. Yeah, so, you knew about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, I feel like it's not just where we went. It, New York was the same. Yeah. So it obviously applies to different parts <laughs> of America as well. But I thought that was pretty awesome because you hear a lot. Well, I say you hear a lot, but it's in videos. It's a stereotype, not necessarily true. I agree. But Americans only focus on their own country, which it is a big country. But there is a lot going on. There's a lot to focus mm -hmm. on, isn't there? But they definitely do know about other cultures, other countries and stuff like that. And you guys do, which I know a lot of you legends do because you watch these videos with us. Mm -hmm. You tell us. All no, uh, no, again, another real talk. Sometimes people tell me things. 
some people, I'm talking about Americans, tell me things about Portugal that I did not know. And I, I fact check and they are true. So I have a lot of uh, Americans that watch me that are very, very, very knowledgeable. All these things. Yeah. Some, some people may say the most knowledge, most knowledgeable, but to be honest, that, that, that I, I'm aware. Yeah. We know less than you legends most of the time. So the next one is, um, obviously, not everybody, I'm sure, in America is polite and friendly, but everyone that we came across was. Um, they wanted to help, if, you know, find ways if we needed to know where to go, etc. Um, everyone just seemed polite and friendly. Yeah, exactly. Everyone. You know what, my friends? You know what? Clap, clap for America. Wait, this is deserved. <laughs> Seems polite, friendly. Everyone we spoke to helped, like you say. Yeah, like bus drivers, uh, you know, yeah. restaurant people. Just in general, we were like, I think we might have asked someone where the seals were. Uh, seals? Oh, just, the, yeah, yeah, the actual seals. Uh, yeah, 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 everyone just everyone was willing to help. Like people who are doing the day jobs, yeah. they don't mind taking a second to help some tourists who are like, we're lost. Uh, by the way, Archie is on the camera and he's moving a little bit, <laughs> which is why we're looking he's down there a little bit. He's trying to get comfy. Bless him. Um, but yeah, so like people didn't mind taking a bit of time out of the day, which is kind of what you would expect in the UK, I guess, especially up north, but you, you don't expect it, do you? No. So it was awesome to see, like, I'm just nervously going up to someone like, oh, do you, have you got a second mate? Do you mind? And uh, it was awesome to see so many people be like, yeah, of course, and then help us, yeah. uh, directors, like say, the SEALs, we were idiots with that, like, but it literally just around the corner, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> But like you say, everyone were friendly, everyone were welcoming, everyone were polite, they loved the British accent. Yeah. And um, and like, even in like... A... Oh, but this is this is something that makes me a bit insecure, because I know you guys love the British accent. This one I'm aware of, but I even watching uh, Lawrence uh, videos, uh, Lost in a Pound, he mentions that all the time, that people tend to love... Uh, the British accent, uh, but my accent is a bit rough, probably. I wonder if people will accept me, <laughs> you know what I mean? I guess if you guys watch me, you guys don't mind the accent, uh, um, but it is not as fancy as them, you know? <laughs> I, I, I know that. You guys don't, don't have to tell me. Um, I think in outdoor world now, like we're walking in a shop, obviously we see we've got a camera and stuff like that, but they were just asking, oh, what we're doing here and stuff like that and like our trip. Yeah, and also when we were in the the cafe in Texas, that couple that was sitting next to us. Yes. After we finished the recording, they were like asking us loads of questions about. So I knew you did something. Whereas, yeah, like in the UK, if I saw someone sat next to me recording, I would not be asking them. Yeah, what they're doing. definitely. So we were <laughs> inquisitive as well, which I guess they want to be knowledgeable, which goes back to the mm -hmm. first one. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah, wasn't it? Oh man, this makes me so happy, my friends. You guys have no idea that not that I'm surprised, but make, still makes me happy. I'm so proud of uh, of America. Of America is a bit relative. I'm so proud of Americans. You know what I mean? Because uh, you guys are such welcome people. Next one sounds quite mad uh, when you say. Oh boy, controversial one. Let's see it. But everybody isn't fat now. We no chance. I mean, of course. <laughs> We knew everyone wasn't fat. We we know a lot of people in America from you legends who aren't. Um, but there is this big stereotype, and every watch videos. And yes, it's true for a lot of countries like the UK um, and other countries where there is an obesity problem. But it, it spoke about a lot on these videos in yeah. America. It, it goes in on this obesity problem, obesity problem. We definitely, I, well, I feel like I saw less obese people more than I saw obese people. I definitely didn't even think about it. Well, you don't even think like, about it, to be fair. Yeah, it wasn't a thing, like, we walked everywhere and were like, oh my god, I didn't even think about it once. <laughs> no, but... Uh... To be honest, if you go to America trying to see obese people, you should not even go to America, you know, because, come on, that's so weird. <laughs> uh, but that's why I think I saw less obese, because... You weren't thinking about it. I would only think about it if I saw somebody massive. Do you know what I mean? You know what, I see a lot of people talking bad about obese people. For all my obese viewers... We are all on this together, my friends. I'm also a bit out of shape. It is what it is. Of course, we all should try to eat a bit healthy and stuff like that. But uh, I love you all. Basically. Yeah. Like someone were massive. I feel like... And I don't mean that in a rude way. <laughs> I feel like, obviously, I think the steroid comes from, as well, typically, the fact that there's a lot more people in the US than in certain people, countries. Yeah. But when you're actually in a place, like, you know, you're walking down a street or something, it doesn't feel any more... Busy than being in like London. Yeah, exactly. And 
I didn't notice any more fat people than I did in London. And not I, that I'm out looking for them. We're not looking for them. But and, uh, it just didn't... I would say one thing. In America, and look, I have a bunch of reactions to Walmart, the, the, all the restaurants. You guys have probably the best food in the world, if you ask me. And for sure, the most options. So in terms of, uh, you have to be super... Uh, what's the... the, the how, how do you guys say? Self-control. You need that in America. That's, by the way, if I, I, I thank God I, I live in Europe because I, I would struggle with that, I feel like. But if you live in America, you, you, you need self-control for sure because the options are unlimited and uh, it's very easy to fall into a pet that could not be the best in terms of your health, you know. Seem, it did, do you guys agree with this? It didn't seem as big a deal as what maybe the stereotypes make it. Yeah, which is why we wanted to include it because it's a big stereotype. It pops up all the time. But like I say, we didn't notice it. We didn't like I say, we didn't look for it, but we didn't notice it. We were there for two weeks. It wasn't like every corner we went around and went, oh my God, do you know what I mean? It was just, we got on with that Yeah, day. definitely. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I thought that was a nice positive one to get in there. I'm like, not everyone is fat in America. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the next one is everyone loves sports. Now, we kind yeah. of knew this already because of all the videos we've done, uh, American football, you know, hockey, baseball, uh, basketball, everything like that. We, we knew this already, but for me, the wow moment was we were in the traffic going to the Dodgers game. Yeah. And I was thinking the baseball back game. to when we go to see Rotherham. Yeah. Um, that's the only real sport I can compare to, um, unfortunately, <laughs> guys. Um, but even Wembley, fair enough. Then, yeah. Um, when we went to see them at Wembley. Um, you're in traffic, yeah, but we were in traffic. Yeah. Like, there was... Wait, but, uh, sorry, uh, I also tend to agree with them, at least from what I interact with you, that you guys love sports. But isn't uh, Dodgers basically one of the most popular teams in America? C could be that, I, I assume. that, that they, would, they, they said they'd end up suffering with a lot of traffic, but uh, maybe because the team is really that big? I'm making a lot of assumptions, but yeah. Pause. Like, four lanes of cars, everyone here. And even to get in, you had to give your ticket in before you even drove in. And then fighting for a space. And then, oh, there was just so many people. Yeah, I mean, I, I, well, really? I would have got lost if I was by myself. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I love this one, Dad. I was thinking of a different angle. But you make a fantastic point where it's a baseball game where there's <laughs> hundreds of games in the season. There's like over 100 games in the season. And it was still so rammed, so hard to get there. So there is that majority. It makes me want to know what the American football wants to like. Yeah, I can't wait for that. We oh, yeah, that's true. Because they went to, to baseball and American football, in terms of popularity, different level, right? Definitely got to do that one day. But my, my angle with this one was, you go to, I say, a soccer game in the UK, I'd say 90% of the audience is dads, sons potentially, male. There is females in there, don't get me wrong. But what surprised me, uh, yes, it was a baseball game, sat next to us was a mum and a daughter just having... My friends, this, is, this was one of the biggest culture shocks I had when I started reacting to American sports. Is uh, sports, specific soccer, to, to be fair, is very focused on uh, males, you know, the, even the fans. There is exceptions, of course, blah, blah, blah. I understand that. <laughs> so if you are a, a woman watching from Europe, don't get, don't get mad at me if you like soccer. But uh, in general, he is correct on this. Uh, but in America, I don't have this idea at all. I think families go to, to, to the event, and that's so beautiful. It's been a great time. Yeah. We were playing with Archie as well. There were a group in front of us. Which were it just seemed mix. family, didn't it? Family, yeah, family friendly. It was really family friendly, but it was all different kinds of families, whether mm. it was mum, daughter, mum, son, dad, daughter, going, whereas I think soccer in the UK is a bit different and it's mainly male, but it's not, not all male. But it's... I don't even know what sport he's talking about. Soccer, what the hell is that? No, I'm joking. That's not the case, but it is mainly male. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. And, uh, and that's surprising. I thought it was quite nice because hmm. we're all just enjoying it. Yeah, definitely. The last one is patriotic. Um, we kind of knew this again. Another one we knew, but you don't really notice till you're there. Um, Driving in the neighborhoods, American flags at yeah. pretty much every single house. What? Um, for us, so 
in the UK. Wait, so this stereotype is totally true. If you go to a suburb, uh, most of the American owls will, uh, will have a flag uh, uh, in the backyard or, or, or something or in front. Oh, that's amazing, my friends. Clap, clap for America. I love that. Okay, we do, don't get me wrong, we do sell like England flags, Jersey flags, etc. Like little part, like, I don't know, little British party hats. Yeah, yeah. Usually in a party shop. Not, hmm. I've never seen that. Unless it's like Liberation Day, I've never seen that in yeah, a, in a general event. shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas Walmart, Target, all these big shops had a whole, like Target had that whole section and I wanted to buy that lovely little red, white and blue what? decoration. Yeah, thing. yeah. Um, whole sections, they have clothing, everything. Awesome. They had cookies, everything. It Wait, is this true, my friend? So if you go to a, to a Walmart or a Target, they have a specific section for people that love America, that are patriotic. Oh my God, I will spend a lot of money in America because I would love to buy some, uh, you know, uh, basically things related with uh, the American flag and stuff like that. Uh, such a beautiful flag. The whole, everything, the whole vibe just... It was absolutely awesome. It's amazing. <laughs> and uh, and like I said, the people, when, when we spoke to people about America and stuff like that, but all, mm -hmm. no one had anything negative to say. Yes, they did say a country has a, its own problems, there's divides and stuff like that, which I, it's obvious, <laughs> I think every, most countries do as well. Mm -hmm. But I hear this all the time, that America is a divide, but I, I don't see that at all. You know, I see that most Americans love America. Maybe there is exception, but uh, then they may think the left is the better, the right is the better, but that's, that's a different point, you know. But most people tend to love that country. But when it came down to it, it was loved the country. Everyone yeah. was out to really. Uh, it's not the case of everyone. Um, we get that, and we, we get the, the mixed opinions from everyone, all you legends, but I think the majority do, and I find it absolutely awesome. Yeah, definitely. We, we have covered patri patriot patriotic and stuff like that like so many times um, in different formats, like Home Depot had a massive flag on it. Mm -hmm. uh, but this was just from a person side. I think people... Even Home Depot... <laughs> They, like that you guys praise America enough, and uh, and I think maybe that's what wait. Sorry, but all the stores have an American flag, eh? even Walmart. And I'm not saying inside selling. I'm saying outside. All the stores. Why mm -hmm. politics is so hostile between each side? Because at the end of the day, everyone loves their country. Everyone loves their country, <laughs> but just wants what's best. No matter what side, everyone loves America. <laughs> exactly, but that, maybe that's why it's so hated because uh, each other because. You think that's what's right, they think that's what's right, mm. and they love a country enough to be so committed to mm -hmm. it, which you've got respect at the end of the day, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, 100%. Um, smash that with video, I guess. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, I did. It was a fun one. Uh, we will be doing things at Shop to Pop. Okay, my friends, show them all the support, but what am, am I seeing on the screen? Brizit visit the Alamo in San Antonio for the first time and see life, see life in San Antonio. Uh, my friends, you know what? This is 19 minutes. Leave me the number 19 if I should watch this one. I'm so curious. <laughs> Please leave the, the number 19. That way, I also know you end up watching until the end. So yeah, thank you so much, my friend. And see you guys in the next one. Bye.